Here's the 62,500 acres on, on Navajo Trust land. And the ranch has different missions. One is to use the ranch to enhance the economics of the community instead of using the community to enhance the ranch. Also given the opportunity to, for small Native American operators to learn how to raise quality beef and get more economic return for their beef. And here at Padre Mesa, we involve them, whether they have one calf, two calves, three calves, four calves, and make a truckload where we then can get premium prices from Munger Beef. One of our main goals that we're into that started this with Rackliff Ranches and Unger Meat and a lot of the more progressive ranches uh, that we've been dealing with is the ability to share the feedlot data and the carcass data so ultimately that uh, Bill Inman here and Gene Shepard, who's the cow boss and Bill Inman the manager, that they can use that data to help in their genetic decisions and therefore further in on to the consumer. Hello and welcome to the American Rancher. Western Heritage is alive here in the Fort Worth Stockyards as the chuck wagons from the Red Steagall Cowboy Gathering have rolled into town. But today's program takes us to the southwest portion of the nation. We'll visit with the Padres Mesa Demonstration Ranch near Chambers, Arizona. This is an operation that provides a year model of good ranching practices to anyone who wants to come and learn. We'll meet ranch manager Bill Inman and also learn about Heritage Ranch Premium Source Verified Beef. I'm Pam Minnick and this is The American Rancher. Stay with us. Welcome back to The American Rancher. The Padres Mesa Demonstration Ranch encompasses more than 60,000 acres and is a resource for progressive ranching methods. Bill Inman and the staff are bringing knowledge and hands-on experience to all types of stockmen, particularly Native American ranchers. The Padres Mesa Demonstration Ranch is located on 60,000 acres of a 365,000 acre parcel of recently acquired Navajo Reservation land in northeastern Arizona near Chambers. The ranch was established in 2009 as a cow-calf operation to provide educational opportunities for local Navajo ranchers and to generate income for the local Navajo community. Bill Inman is the ranch manager try to unite the community. We're also the only ranch when we do a demonstration you don't have to be a VIP or you don't have to be a special person or we don't charge you. You notice our gates open. So we're saying if you want to learn, we're not a dude ranch recreation. If you want to learn, then you're welcome to come out, but you've got to do it our way. So there's no hooting and hollering, beating up on our cows, or if you've got an uncontrolled horse, the cowboys are going to say, you got to step back. Practices such as freeze branding, electronic identification, quality mineral provision, vaccinations, low stress handling, and sustainable rangeland stewardship are all utilized on the ranch. Through workshops and community events, modern ranching practices are demonstrated to Navajo livestock owners, providing educational opportunities. Demonstration ranch, we uh, use a uh what they call BQA, which is Beef Quality Assurance. It's um, a lot of different aspect that goes into it, like general, general handling methods, uh, how we handle the cows and the calves and the horses, and it's some of the guidelines that go under BQA. 
I'm trying to get people to come under the same program that we do. And that's why we invite a lot of people. We post flyers around the community. Sometimes we have it announced on the air, in the radio or in the paper and tell people to come in and uh, help us and learn and by uh, hands-on. You can hand a rancher a brochure on best practices, but don't expect him to sit around and read it. On the whole, ranchers are hands-on folks. If you want them to try something new, you have to prove to them that it works. This is very true at Padres Mesa. Well, I don't want to sound prejudiced, but I think we have the best ranch in Arizona. But um, it can be challenging, you know, from February to June, you got high wind. Then you can have 20 below zero during the winter. And, uh, but overall, I, I don't, you know, you can't complain because like my granddaddy always said, if the weather was perfect, then you wouldn't be able to raise cattle there because it'd be covered up with people. We also have 14 rain gauges we read once a month, so we do our planning accordingly. And um, so when we see we're in a rain deficit, last year we had two inches for the month of June. So far this month, Zippo. And high wind, 70 mile hour wind. That'll kind of dry you out. The Navajo people, a lot of them don't um, speak or understand English. and. It's one of my job duty titles that I, as a foreman here, I try to interpret what Bill, my manager, is talking about. When we have uh, non-speaking or uh, old elderly people that don't understand um, English or talk English, they try to relate what we're talking about. The ranch currently runs two herds for a spring and fall calf crop where high quality uniform medium frame Angus calves are sired from purebred bulls. In the short time that the demonstration ranch has been in operation, it has already had a positive impact on the quality of livestock production in the local community and beyond. Okay, primarily we raise uh, black baldies or black or, or, or primarily predominantly Angus. Uh, we'll do all pretty much all the black calves because when we package for Unger beef, we package the premium um, uniform group that are aged and sourced with a vaccination record and everything. Heritage Ranch Premium Source Verified Beef is America's only beef that's source verified right down to the ranch it came from. The story of Heritage Ranch is one of both commitment and partnership. It's about providing beef of exceptional quality and taste with exact knowledge of origin from proud U.S. ranchers that produced it. Our relationship started here with the help of R.C. Buckley, uh, a superior representative, where he markets uh, the Padre Mesa here at the demonstration ranch. He marketed their cattle on the video. Our relationship began when uh, we called RC about the cattle that was in their catalog and he told us how they were genetically in the vaccination profile and exactly what was going on here at the demonstration ranch here in Arizona. Where we were so much interested in that is where we've been trying to bring back uh, Arizona beef back into Arizona through the Unger Meat Company Heritage Ranch program and sharing the data back with these people. One of our main goals that we're into that started this with Rackliff Ranches and Unger Meat and a lot of the more progressive ranches uh, that we've been dealing with is the ability to share the feedlot data and the carcass data so ultimately that uh, Bill Inman here and Gene Shepard can use that data to help in their genetic decisions and therefore further in, on to the consumer. Today, people are increasingly interested in knowing where their family's food comes from whether it's locally grown and safely produced. Heritage Ranch bills itself as the country's first source verified beef that connects consumers directly to its origin, literally to the very ranch it came from, like the Padres Mesa. When these animals go to slaughter and they're harvested at the harvest facilities, each one of them, as you notice, got an ear tag. The ear, ear tags are all documented through a third-party validator called IMI Global, which comes in and does, ran, does audits every single month 
to make sure that the that the systems are in place. Each one of them are logged in. Each one of them numbers are kept track of. That's how we're able to bring back to the public and say, through a barcode, we're able to say, look at here. That animal came off the Padre Mesa Ranch at this date. Heritage Ranch is also partners with IMI Global and its Where Food Comes From label gives consumers the satisfaction of knowing their beef has third-party validation by a USDA-approved program. They not only attribute the source of your beef to a single ranch, but they also guarantee that all of their products meet the highest quality and safety standards. What I like about Unger Beef is it comes back, every piece of meat comes back with our story on it. The work taking place at Padres Mesa Demonstration Ranch is providing knowledge that will improve the operation and the bottom line of the ranchers that are coming there. This is the American Rancher. Don't go away. Heritage Ranch, America's only beef that's source verified, right down to the ranch it came from. Serve your family with confidence. Heritage Ranch products are available at foodiesgourmet.com or by phone from 10 to 6 Eastern at 866-988-8832. Exceptional taste and quality raised by proud U.S. ranchers. Heritage Ranch, premium source verified beef. 70% of consumers want to know where their food comes from and how can we ignore them? IMI Global offers third-party audited source and age verification essential for export markets and specialty markets like natural, organic, omnivoric, Eskimo, or possibly recovering vegan certified. For quality and age producers, to the big boys, any cattleman who wants to expand his market, you're not just buying this green ear tag, you're buying peace of mind. IMIGlobal.com Join Ratcliffe Ranches November 12th for their annual fall production and customer appreciation sale. Selling 110 ranch-ready Angus and Sim Angus bulls sired by Grassmaster Anticipation, Steel Force, and Upgrade. Bulls that will perform on hoof as well as provide tremendous carcass results. Also selling nearly 1,000 purebred and commercial females. Sale cattle video, catalog, and information are available at RatcliffeRanch.com. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Record keeping, herd management, breeding selection based on market demand. These are just a few of the teaching points from Padres Mesa Demonstration Ranch. Here's more on our story. Um, we found out that if you go to the local community and you try to do a structured um, schooling, first of all, they won't be able to acquire the skills necessarily to put a program together. But if you demonstrate it like we did today, you see how many people got involved, how many people, they make a couple of mistakes, and you correct them, you show them how to do it right, you notice how they, then they kind of take on their own initiative, and they're not embarrassed uh, by someone saying, no, you're doing the wrong vaccinations to your own cows. And then we make sure, by doing so, when we take in their calves, we know it's done properly because the people have been out here. According to the Padres Mesa crew, some of the basics that ranchers are learning they can do to improve their yield and income include keep accurate records. The auction buyer is not going to take your word that you vaccinated your calves. Give injections in the neck, not the hip. That way you don't risk spoiling the premium meat and your calves will command a higher price. Padres Mesa advises stockmen to slowly switch your herd over to Black Angus. Raise calves that will gain and grade and be viable in today's market. Reduce your herd to a manageable size. It is better to have 10 well-fed, healthy cows than 20 you can't take care of. Get the spreadsheet software for your computer and learn how to use it. 
Adjust your corral latches so you don't have to dismount to open and close them. Not only will it save time, but studies have shown cows are less distressed by a man on horseback than by one on foot. The less stress you put on your cows, the easier they are to manage and the healthier they will be. You can see the cowboys, you know, working cattle, um, the beef quality assurance way, and then using the horse as a partner and also guiding other people. Instead of being ego, you'll watch these guys step forward and say, hey, listen, you're having a problem. Can I help you? You know, have you ever vaccinated calves? So you're going to see a lot of young people. This is free of charge to the community. If we're successful, then we can build a Navajo, actually a Navajo product and make it into an industry. And then, you know, get the 50% unemployment down, utilizing the natural resources, teaching young people. So it's a good, good deal. The ranch's main focus is to help Native Americans get back into ranching. Some say that the program is awesome and is the kind of thing that's needed. It's great. It's right next to my home community, which is just north of here, and I understand it's a demonstration project, but hoping that it'll come into a real revenue-based uh, project for the community so they employ people. My understanding is that they are training people to get into the cattle industry, teaching them how to raise high quality beef products so they can sell them to high end restaurants or to the local Navajo casino. They are training people how to do fencing, range management so they don't overgraze the lands and that they, so the lands will continue to produce high quality beef. The partnership side of delivering quality, source verified beef wouldn't be possible without partners of the highest integrity. Heritage Ranch sets the bar high by choosing to work only with ranchers who live their passion for raising outstanding cattle and by meticulously hand selecting as breeding stock to ensure that you're getting the juiciest, best tasting beef time after time. Rackliff Ranch is, uh, has been in business for about 40 years. Uh, we've done a lot of uh, carcass testing. We market about 400 bulls a year. We're involved a lot with our customer calves and feeding and getting data back on those animals so that we can use them in our decisions. And that led uh, down the road to our involvement with Joe Unger, who's the CEO and president of Unger Meat Company. All that kind of stuff together and being more progressive in data and the ability to work with cattle that grade choice. And for me personally, it gave me the opportunity to work with more ranchers across the United States and their programs through sharing data and taking food back where it comes from with the help of IMI. I think the difference is quality and integrity. You know, there's a, there's a consistent marbleization and fat content in this meat that just gives it an overall richer flavor and more buttery texture. And it's just beautiful stuff. I've been an executive chef and in the restaurant industry for over 25 years. And I can honestly say consistently, this is the best product I've ever worked with. Heritage Ranch supports U.S. ranchers and works only with select producers who share a mutual dedication to high standards. This program, it, it, it gives money back to where, to the producers, to do a good job of raising cattle. That's really what it is in a nutshell. It gives them something that they have a stake in the game. Through the Heritage Ranch program, they've got now visibility. It's their cattle that are being featured in the supermarkets and the restaurants. Well, they take a lot of pride in what they do. I mean, the, the amount of passion they have and to, and to be able to see it show up in their local grocery store they, they just automatically want to produce the best cattle they can. That's, that's really the uniqueness of Heritage Ranch. Padres Mesa Demonstration Ranch is making a difference in eastern Arizona and beyond. Heritage Ranch Premium Source Verified Beef is an excellent program that's bringing consumers the best tasting beef from U.S. ranchers who share a mutual passion for quality. You're watching The American Rancher. Stay with us.
We'd like to thank Bill Inman and Padres Mesa Demonstration Ranch, as well as Unger Meat Company and Heritage Ranch Premium Source Verified Beef for bringing us a great ranching story from scenic Arizona. That's all the time we've got today. To keep up with us, visit our website at theamericanrancher.com or become a friend on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you next time. The American Rancher, presented by Barringer Ingelheim Vet Medica Incorporated, makers of Express and Express FP vaccines to defend your calves against respiratory disease. The American Rancher is also brought to you by Land Lakes Purina Feed, building better cattle with AccuRation, Wind and Rain, Rangeland, and Steak Maker Feeds. And by Star Lake Cattle Ranch, recognized as a premier Hereford breeder. StarlakeHerefords.com.